What a great pleasure for me to be here with you today to share the book of 1001 Nights by Nouveddin Magak. I translated it for you from French to English, and I hope you will enjoy it as much as I did. The Book of 1001 Nights. Sharia was a great sultan from India and China. He was a man very important in all countries. He was in love with his wife. He was fair and firm and liked people. He was a real man from Satan. He was very smart. He loved the poor and he punished the murderers. One day in the days, he decided to go to his younger brother to see him with so much love. When he left his country, his wife was starting to betray him from morning to evening with a black slave without thinking about something else. When he came back, suddenly at his house, he found her sleeping in the bed of betrayal. Oh, what a bad evening. He took his sword and by a cold sound, he killed her with a lover. Then he decided without mercy to get married every day with a virgin, without any love, so that he could kill her with his own hands at the sunrise the next day. The history of Shehazad. Shehazad was a young woman, high class. Her father was a vizier who kept his true place in the kingdom worked well and who knew how to react at the right time and who respected the law. When his king asked him to seek for him a wife, he went to his home and chose his eldest daughter, who was Shehazad herself. Because the other girls, people, they were dead or too young for the wedding. This began another destiny. For Shahyar and for Sheri Azad, without crying, without sorrow, and lots of stories. For each night, a nice story. For each day, lots of passion, lots of love. The two lovers, Shahyar and Sheri Azad. The master of Sheri Azad loved them young. Each night, a drop of blood to calm his tyranny and that of confused men to drive away all his worries. But Shehazad wasn't just a beautiful pure body. She had spirit and heart. She loved stories, hated orgies. On a crazy night, the lover in love found the soulmate fascinating. They killed each other. She said to the children, No! He said to the beautiful eyes, Yeah. He armed with his words and she with the stories. So spoke Shehazad. So spoke Shehazad for a thousand and one nights by telling incessantly wonderful stories from Samarkand until Baghdad. We spoke of Aladdin, we spoke of Sinbad. So spoke Shehazad by telling stories full of wisdom. History of the Porter with Young Girls. There was in the city of Baghdad a young man, single and very strong, who worked as potter, bearing from day to night other people's goods. In a day, a young woman, very attractive, like a flame, asked him to follow her. He said, first, yes, following her orders and while waiting for surprises. When she was down to buy what she wanted, she left the market to the secret path the potter followed her, always in silence. His heart broken down, anguish, but also wonderful love. When she arrived in front of a big house, she knocked on the door, the door opened. And a young, beautiful girl appeared smiling. It was really another horizon for the young potter who suddenly felt the fear. <laughs> about entering this space, staying with this beauty feminine face to face. When he finished his work, the first young woman asked him to stay with her and her sister. If he wanted to distract himself a little, as long as he respected the rules of the game, that of silence. Here is a third girl who came all at ease. We held out his hand to him for him to kiss her. Time passed between music and dance. 
the girls all naked and the happy partner thought he was going to sleep with them. The three of them. Oh, what a beautiful joy for him. This night, he was not tired. He was full of fantasy. He was full of dreams between the naked bodies of these beautiful Eves. So spoke Sinbad. No, oh my friend, that I was a merchant poorer than others, but I had a heart who lacked adventures. And since, li since life was hard for me, I decided one day among the days to leave my native country alone. The back of my heart, horse white. I decided to leave my country despite my great love for him. I took the right path to find a ship who was going to the country of India. So my story began with seas and oceans, sorrows in Greece, but also with money and people's friendship, men and women, rich and poor. You know, all my friends, that life never gives something free, but it opens his heart full of roses and flowers to adventurers like me, despite everything. in bad travels. First trip, only me, neither brothers, neither friends, neither sisters. I decided one day to leave my country, my homeland, despite my great love for it, in the back of a horse. Only I took the path looking for my destiny and from mirage to mirage, I look for a woman for love only, or for marriage, but in vain. And from sea to ocean, I looked for golden fish. I just looked for the wealth without any laziness, but in vain. Time goes by, day after day. Here's the money that is love. Finally, the good life. Here's the good destiny. Each morning, music. Each evening, glasses of wine. And every night, a virgin ready to sleep with me. Oh, what happiness. What a joy. Second trip. Know all my friends that after my first trip, I decided to stay to my hometown, calm and wise, living in peace by protecting my fortunes. But after a while, I started to get bored and I felt for a long time the urge to buy and sell, to give money and take it. So I looked for a boat and I left again my country. Oh, what a trip, what a shock. I missed the ship in one circumstance by bad luck. And he was a big bird whose name was Rock took me between his feet and we was flying up. After this strange flight, he, he was asking me on the ground of a strewn land if I wanted diamonds and snakes. I picked up the diamonds. I looked uh, after sheltered places to hide from danger. <laughs> I even forget to drink and eat, but this time the luck didn't take long because I was kidnapped again by another big bird to another place, more secure and full of men. After some time, I returned to Baghdad, me, the famous Sinbad, very rich and very happy. Third trip. Know all my friends that my first trip was so appalling. We were in a ship playing cards between the smiles and the loud louds. No one was able to see further from this entourage. But suddenly, uh, we saw our captain who came to us crying. So we told him first, what happened? He replied with a heart whose courage was fading away. Look away from here, there are many dwarves who will attack us. So we started to cry like him or rather like women. <laughs> Saying, oh, all done, that's trip. The dwarves took our boat, but thank God, they left us safe and sound. After a few more little adventures, I returned to Baghdad with a lot of fortunes. Fourth trip. A strange story. I arrived in a land full of beautiful women. I fell in love with Saraya, whose eyes were full of flames. And after a certain time, between passion and love, between winter and spring, my wife fell ill and died. So the tribe decided to bury me alive, close to her. It was for me an incredible story, uh, but unfortunately very real. I tried my luck to flee like this, and thanks to the support from God, I succeeded in that case. Well, fine for me, huh? so much the better, and a thousand thanks for those who helped me. 
Fifth trip. I wanted to do new journeys. I built a team for me and my joy has become double, <laughs> or rather triple. I bought some goods and I joined the sea as usual, but the weather was bitter by bad luck. And our ship fell under the great waters. And since I hung on sling, single plank, I stayed alive. I have a great desire to continue my adventures, but I'm afraid to read this time in my life. So I decided to go home. Six trip. Oh, what a trip. What worries, what solitudes, what tears that tore the face. What great shipwrecks who hit hard our poor boat. We were all between the teeth of death and no one could help us except dolphins who were coming to show us the true path who led us finally toward an island full of human beings like us. Devon Strip. In my years, I was an adventurous man. I really liked women. I really liked the money. I liked the adventures nonstop. But after the seventh trip, which was easy for me, which was full of love, full of joy, I have obtained a great fortune. I got a great wealth, more. I got wisdom. I became a mature man and very wise. Story of Noureddin de Casablanca and the beautiful Parisian. Shehazad tells this beautiful tale from Noureddin de Casablanca and the beautiful Parisian leaving the floor to a frivolous arrow who spoke thus by saying this. In my childhood, I was a friend of horses. Each summer in the summer holidays, I played with them, I ran with them with music and dance. I was a real knife full of courage. I looked for water in every mirage. I remember well all my adventures and my little fights. I remember the hard times, but we were full of joy and lots of love. Time goes by and day after day, all that I have been through fades away, except a few memories who were able to overtake time and stay in my heart like a pretty flower, a beautiful spring among those hours, those of my meeting with the beauties of Paris. I'm the true cantor of love. I was running towards the river and here's a beautiful woman, all naked, very proud of her beauty, near me swimming. What a joy, what a luck to finally find the sister of my soul. Shehazad settles her accounts. Here, Shehazad is forced to end her story in front of Sharia because she saw the sun rise in the morning and to save her fate and stay alive, to settle her accounts, she had to shut up and leave time to time. Leave Sharia very happy while waiting for the continuation of her beautiful stories. I hope you had a good time and I hope to see you soon. Bye.